Welcome to the VMSG Dashboard Performance Management System History and Overview Module. In this module, we'll discuss a bit of the history of the dashboard system and an overview of its functionality and basic structure. What is the VMSG Dashboard? The dashboard is a cloud-based application that was designed over the course of about 14 years to develop and manage the strategic and operational plans for each program, office, and division in a public health department. The system was developed in coordination with the Maricopa County, Arizona Department of Public Health. It's the third largest public health jurisdiction in the U.S., serving a population of about 4.2 million people and covers more than 9,200 square miles in central Arizona. Maricopa County, along with other dashboard clients, provide continuous feedback and suggestions for the improvement of the system. These upgrades are implemented for all dashboard clients on an ongoing basis. We'll discuss some of these recent improvements during this presentation. The planning methodology for the dashboard was developed in conjunction with Dr. Thomas Keller. For over 25 years, Dr. Keller was a highly regarded management professor at Arizona State University, teaching at both the undergraduate and graduate levels. Over this time, he was able to distill the best practices and the most effective strategic and operational planning methodologies from the academic world. In addition to the academic view, we worked with several public health departments to fine-tune the methodology to the specific needs of public health. The initial versions of the dashboard were based on Excel spreadsheets. These worked fine within a specific program or office. Over time, hundreds of spreadsheets were developed and the limitations became apparent when they wanted to look at commonalities and gaps across the entire department. The dashboard allows all staff and any external partners to be involved in strategic and operational planning, performance management, and organizational success. It provides linkage between operational plan elements across all work groups so that you can see the connections and gaps within the entire department. Although Maricopa County has a large population, they run on a very tight budget with only about 500 employees. To provide the required services to the county, they rely heavily on external partners. To facilitate this, the dashboard also serves as an interactive partner tracking tool with a complete partner and contact database. As health departments become more immersed in the FAB accreditation process, they soon realize that a large number of documents need to be managed. Based on direct feedback from clients, the dashboard now provides complete, cloud-based, version-controlled document storage and management for all plan elements. The VMSG dashboard structures and manages the planning and execution processes. The system is hierarchical in design, like this pyramid. The system manages the following planning elements. Organizations and groups define how we are structured and organized. Most health departments have a single organization in the system. Some clients have established a separate training organization to allow their people to learn the system in a safe environment. Each organization can have multiple groups and subgroups. Groups and subgroups define the org chart of the department. Each group can have its own vision, mission, and values. Most organizations have common vision and values across all groups. We've seen some divisions that have a different mission statement. For instance, WIC and Emergency Preparedness may have a different mission statement defining their way of achieving the vision of the department. The next layers of the pyramid define the actual operational plan for the department, division, office, or program. Each group defines the current services or desired initiatives to be accomplished. Services are typically those things that we are doing now as a health department. Initiatives are those things we want to do in the future. Both are entered in the services module. The difference will be in the timelines for the goals, objectives, and activities. Planning elements for initiatives will generally have future dates associated with them. Goals, objectives, and activities form a hierarchy to define how we will accomplish the services and initiatives. Goals may have multiple objectives, and objectives may have multiple activities. Most of you have heard of the Deming cycle, or PDCA cycle. PDCA stands for Plan, Do, Check, and Act or Adjust. We prefer Adjust because it seems to describe the step better. After we plan, do, and check, we make adjustments to the plan for the next cycle. 
the PDCA cycle is an integral part of the dashboard planning process. To plan, the operational plan is developed using the services and or initiatives, goals, objectives, and activities. In the due phase, the operational plan is implemented using the steps developed and tracked by leaders responsible for the specific objectives and activities. You then check the performance of the operational plan using the dashboard and performance management tools. To act slash adjust, use the feedback from the dashboard and performance management tools to adjust the operational plan to maximize performance of the organization, group, and or services. So, how do we get better at it? Performance management is the feedback through the PDCA cycle, which allows us to improve our programs over time. All goals, objectives, and activities are flagged for status. The exact status of all goals, objectives, and activities for any group or subgroup is displayed in real time on the system dashboard. The dashboard provides an insight into the status of the organization with the ability to drill down into any specific item for full details. The status of objectives or activities can be charted over time to graphically view their performance. Thanks for reviewing the dashboard basics with us. In the next module, we'll discuss the performance management dashboard in detail.